Do you know how terrifying a black hole is? A black hole sucks everything, and by everything I mean even light can't get out of it. Not only that, they take a really long time to die as well. Some of the more massive ones take around a Google years for them to dissipate through Hawking's radiation. And if you Google that, you're going to find out that it's about one with a hundred zeros next to it. But that doesn't really show how scary they are. Here is how they are scary. Remember when you were a kid? and you played a game of rock, paper, scissors with your friend, you being a smart ass, you were like rock, paper, pistol. And your friend was like, you can't do that. And he was like shotgun. And then you were like bazooka. And then he was like tank. And then you said black hole. And that's it. The game ends. There is nothing else that you can say after black hole. That's how scary a black hole really is. But are black holes really that horrifying? The problem with black holes is that they're not exactly that big. Sure, they have a great gravitational influence on everything around them, but the event horizon, the most dangerous part of a black hole, is pretty small. To give some perspective on the subject, if the sun became a black hole, it would only be about six kilometers in diameter. You could almost hike around it. Be careful though, because as soon as the tips of your shoelaces end up inside the event horizon, you're going to go down with it. And at that point, you'll be toast. Or in science terms, you'll be spaghettified. It, it, it's still, either way, the description is not exactly too good, you know, good. But to be fair, there is a certain type of black holes out there that will make you, well, pretty much poop your pants. And it is, in this case, our super massive black holes, the type of black holes that you find in the center of galaxies. The most massive, super massive black hole ever discovered was found in a galaxy called that. It has 21 billion times the mass of our own sun. Let me repeat this again. It has 21 billion times the mass of our own sun. This means that this thing's event horizon is going to be something like 125 billion kilometers in diameter. It is absolutely ginormous. If this thing was in the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Pluto and then nine times further than that. But here is how it's not exactly that scary. You see, earlier I've mentioned something about being spaghettified, and what being spaghettified is, is how you would die from a black hole. Now, spaghettification, the best way to explain it, well, let's just say through the following way. Right now, for example, Earth is trying to pull you down to its center because of the force of gravity. But because there's like 6,000 kilometers worth of stuff between the center and you, you don't fall all the way down to the center. This actually creates something that is very interesting. If you were to stand on Earth's surface, you know, if you could just stand right now and just see, your feet will be the closest thing to Earth's center. Anything else after your feet will become farther and farther away from Earth's center until you end up with your head, which is the farthest body part in your body than the center of the Earth. This means that your feet will experience more gravity than, the other, than other body parts in your body, and your head will experience the least amount of gravity relative to well, the rest of your body. Now, because Earth is so big and you are so small, this difference is not that much. But if you consider something so small, so compact, something like a black hole, this difference becomes much larger. As you approach a black hole singularity, a black hole center, this difference and gravity becomes stronger and stronger and stronger. If you were to fall feet first to a black hole, your feet will start to get stretched out. And then whatever follows your feet will also start getting stretched out, let's say your knees, and then your waist, and then your chest, and then your shoulders, and then your head. Then the process keeps on going again. Your feet will continue to stretch even more, and then your knees, and then your waist, and then your chest, and then your shoulders, and then your head. This keeps on going and going and going as you approach the black hole's center. Eventually, you become this very thin line of atoms. Well, that, that's why 
you, you become like what well, a piece of spaghetti. That's why it's called spaghettification. Until all of those atoms go inside the black hole singularity. They be, will become part of the black hole's center. That's what spaghettification is. Now, you would expect that the thing that would kill you is entering a black hole's event horizon, something that has a very scary description. Nothing can escape, not even light. But that's actually not the case. Spaghettification, what kills you, depends on how far away you are from the center of a black hole, not how far away you are from the event horizon. You will actually get spaghettified before you even enter an event horizon for black holes that are small. But if you consider something big, something massive, something supermassive, the most supermassive, something like, you know, the one that is, yeah, that galaxy, then in this case, even if you enter the event horizon, you'll still be pretty far away from the singularity of that black hole. So you will fall for days before things become uncomfortable enough to spaghettify you. So you will have time to, well, go through your memories, your loved ones, and make peace with yourself. Now, though, there are other ways that black holes can be scary. I mentioned that before, that if our sun became a black hole, it would be something like six kilometers in diameter. But what if our sun became a black hole? What would happen? You would expect that our solar system would collapse in on itself and take all the planets and everything into this black hole that formed from the sun. But actually, that doesn't happen. You see, when the sun collapses into a black hole, it still maintains the same mass that it had before it collapsed, one solar mass. Therefore, the black hole will exert the same amount of gravity that the sun is exerting. Therefore, you're not going to feel any difference. There's not going to be much change. What will change is that as you get nearer and nearer to the black hole, you will feel stronger and stronger gravity until you get to the event horizon itself. But besides that, you'll be absolutely fine. Now, you'll be, you'll be absolutely fine gravitationally, but in terms of the fact that we don't really have an energy source anymore, yeah, we're, 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 we're toast. Uh, yeah. And with that, that's my take on why black holes are not that scary. And uh, thank you very much.